Hi there, and welcome to CCPS's Science Review Lab. Today, we're going to be taking a peek out into space. Let's take a look at these two images. How do you think they might be related? Well, let's start off by defining what we're seeing. If you look at the picture to the left, Clearly, we can see that we're looking at part of a galaxy. And if we look at the picture to the right, we're looking at a beach. Hmm. I wonder what those two things have in common. Well, it's often said that the universe has more stars than there are grains of sand on the entire planet of Earth. So let's think of every beach we've ever seen, thought about, or heard about, every desert we've ever wondered about, every savanna, every place you might even think about having sand. And you counted each individual grain. Do you think you would have the same number of stars that exist in our universe? I have news for you. There's probably an extra billion or so stars out there. Then there are grains of sand on Earth. As you know, our universe is made up of many, many, many galaxies, like billions of galaxies. And within each galaxy, there are billions of stars. Now, we classify galaxy, galaxies into several types. We have spirals. That's what, like where we live in the Milky Way is a spiral galaxy. We have elliptical galaxies, kind of shaped a little eggish, sort of oval, if you would. And then we have irregularly shaped galaxies. And within each of those, remember, there are billions of stars. Now, if you want to have some fun playing with galaxies, you go to this link here. It's down below in the comments. And that's going to take you to a website called Galaxy Zoom. And what Galaxy Zoo is going to do is it's going to help you practice seeing some of the different galaxies that are out there. So, for example, they'll have you look at a picture. And then you're going to say the galaxy in that picture, is it completely round? Is it sort of in between? Is it cigar shaped? And you're going to click and identify, once you see the pictures, how you would describe the different galaxies. And this is actually helping scientists classify galaxies out in our universe because there are more galaxies than they could ever think of identifying on their own. So they've tapped into us for some help. So again, when we're looking back at the galaxies, the thing that we need to take away is that there are billions of galaxies out there, even more so, more stars out there than we have grains of sand on Earth. So go ahead and practice what you've learned, and we'll see you back next time.